Well, um, <clears throat> Coach uh, London and his team fought, came in, uh, gave us a real good, tough game. Um, you know, I'm really proud of our young men. We talked about fighting for 60 minutes and finding a way to win the football game to just show improvement and rally around one another. So I couldn't be proud of them. I'm really proud of the number of guys we used in today's game, having freshmen, true freshmen come in and play roles and just special teams and things, the, 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 the certain parts that people don't pay attention to. So great team win. Um, my hats off to uh, Howard for a great fight. And I really, 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 uh, really grateful to our players for what they came out and did this afternoon. Did you ever feel like at one point it would come down to whoever had the ball last because of the way the first half was going? Yeah, it certainly was shaping up to be that way. Um, Coach T.C. Taylor and the offensive guys, they had an excellent game plan. And uh, you saw them move the ball, which, you know, just extending drives alone kept us off the field for maybe another, you know, 90 seconds, which, you know, proved to be very, very, very helpful in terms of us just being able to get catch our win and, and uh, you know, on defense just not to go out and, and, and just to be fresh. So um, just – just it. it I knew it was going to come down to who had the ball last kind of deal just by the way the offenses were going back and forth. Was, was today like the best you see him in command, kind of knowing where to go with the ball? No question. You know, no question. And, and uh, you know, he's, uh, he's taking the coaching um, and looking for all different playmakers, you know what I'm saying, and being, being able to spread the ball around. I, th I think you all saw what Coach Taylor designed to do that by the amount of times that we're in one back sets. And uh, we thought, you know, that is our strength right now. And so um, uh, that was the plan going forward. And like I said, Chauncey had showed all week that he had commanded that. And when he was on, I mean, he's tough to get. Maybe the team punted the first half. I think the first punt, they come to late the third quarter, maybe fourth quarter. So what adjustments were made uh, defensively at halftime for you guys? Well, we just knew we had to get a stop. First, we had to get ahead of the chains. And um, credit to you know Howard, they got excellent coaches over there. They saw we were... We were committed to stopping the run. We were stacking the box, and they were throwing their, you know, getting some quick outs and making the second and short, really second and two and whatnot. So we had to play some cover two a time or two. Uh, we didn't really plan on doing that versus two backs because you're, you're, you're weak a little bit. So we had to throw some cover two. So, you know, Mr. Newton had to pull the ball down a little bit or throw it in the dirt because of the threat of the corner and the flanks. And uh, that got us into a second and long. And then from there, we can, you know, they're behind the chains now. So it was just that chess match. Uh, our defense got to do some things. We, we've got to tighten up. Um, you know, we got some things we've got to work out there. We're still working through some things um, that's pretty obvious. But um, I credit to them. We knew that at some point in time we'd have to have a stop. We'd have to make a stop, whether it's a last play or whatever. And uh, thankful that it happened. All right, Coach, bye week coming up. Uh, and then uh, Norfolk State after that, how do you feel going forward? Well, I, we, we're still a little banged up. And thank goodness we're getting some guys back, some playmakers, especially on the offense side of the ball, defense side of the ball. We're starting to get some guys back. The more playmakers we can get back, um, you know, after this bye week, the, the tougher we're going to be. Again, we're still growing. We're still finding our way. We have some chemistry that I think just turned the corner a little bit today. Uh, that's got to be developed. Uh, uh, we have some penalty issues that uh, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy with that. And uh, we're going to have to address that pretty sternly. And, um, you know, that we, we can't do that. We cannot beat ourselves. And um, I, I thought we had done some things to correct that. I see we have a further way to go than I, than I thought. I knew it was coming my way. So when I seen it, all of a sudden in my head, I need to jump up and just catch it, just grab it, just to say it again. What made you feel like it was coming your way? Just something you saw on film or a formation number, they were in? Uh, number 12 was balling our game, so they wanted him in a crucial moment. So I knew they were going to throw it my way, and I was on him. In a situation like that, how much do you want to make the play? How much do you want to be on a guy like that to kind of win the game for you guys? As a corner, that's what you live for. That's what you live for as a corner, like just to be on that island and just to make a game-saving interception. That's what you – Live for it since a little kid. Uh, we were just prepared all week. You know, last week, in my opinion, was a fluke, and um, we just got together, we bought in, and uh, we produced this week. So, this is the second time in your career that you've scored with uh, time winding down. How does this compare to last year? Uh, I mean, this year is definitely bigger than last year because this year it, it meant more, actually. Um, you know, we know we got to get done, we got to win out, and uh, for us to be, bring, come together and, and believe in each other and score and win, it was just a blessing. Can you walk us through that play? Oh, uh, coach called a play, and, and I told my whole line, I say, you know, I, I, I'm trusting y'all. You know, I can't do it without y'all. And he said, we got you, and uh, we just execute and we score. Was that last drive, uh, was the thought process getting the field goal range, or was it the score touchdown once you got into a certain area of the field? Uh, once we got in the red zone, I was like, let's score a touchdown. You know, uh, I just did what I was coached to do. Uh, my coaches worked so hard preparing uh, with anything, anything the defense does. You know, we have an answer for it. So we just executed, and we put together a drive and score and won the game. The ball, we definitely have a week to recover. We got a lot of guys banged up, uh, including me. So, you know, we got a week off, a week to prepare, and, and two weeks to watch film on our next opponent. 
What was the mood like in the locker room? At halftime? After the game. Oh, after the game, oh, you know, we were we were pretty lit. You know, we was excited that we won. You know, last week, you know, it was – it's not about how you start. It's always how you finish. You know, that's in life, you know. But um, we came together. We said we a team. We would not go outside at home. And uh, we just brought together – came together, and we did it. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.